Om Shanti. This is the Aviact Merli of the 25th of February 2024. Original date 30th of March 1998. Title Make the awareness of all attainments emerge. Experience your unshakable stage and become liberated in life. Today, the Father, the bestower of fortune, is seeing his most elevated, fortunate children of the world. God himself is singing praise of the fortune of each child. Souls anyway sing praise of the Father all the time. But the Father himself is now praising you children. Did you ever think, even in your dreams, that your fortune could be so elevated? However, it was already created. Although people of the world say that God created them, they neither know God nor his creation. Each of you fortunate children says from experience and with spiritual pride that you are Brahma Kumars and Kumaris who belong to the clan of Shiva. We know how Babdada has created us. Whether you are a small child or a mature Pandav or Shakti, if anyone asks you who your father is, what would you reply? You would say with pride that you were created by Father Shiva through Father Brahma and that this is why you are God's children. You meet God directly. Not only do you say that he is God and your father but that he is your father, teacher and Satguru. Do all of you have this intoxication? Everyone clapped. Now clap with just one hand. Now this exercise has to be taught to the older ones too. Seeing the children happy, Babdada also swings in happiness and constantly says, Wow! Each and every elevated, fortunate and special soul of mine. From the form of the Father, you experience godly sustenance. This godly sustenance is received just once throughout the whole cycle in this Brahmin life, through which souls experience being embodiments of all attainments. God's love enables you to experience all relationships. God's love enables you to forget the consciousness of your bodies. As well as this, it also makes you forget all selfish love. You are such fortunate souls that you are being sustained by God with his love. You souls are so fortunate that the father himself leaves his home and comes to teach you godly students. Have you ever seen such a teacher who comes from a faraway land to teach you every morning? Have you ever seen such a teacher? However, the father becomes the teacher and comes to teach you every morning. And what he teaches you is so easy. It is the study of just two words, you and Baba. Call it the knowledge of the cycle, the drama and the cycle tree. All the knowledge is merged in just these two words. In other studies, you have such a huge burden on your brain Whereas with the Father's teachings, your brain becomes light. The sign of something being light is that it flies high. 
anything light always remains above. So through this study, your mind and intellect experience the ascending stage. So your head has become light, has it not? You receive the knowledge of all three worlds. Throughout the whole cycle, has anyone else studied such a study? Did you ever find such a teacher before? So this is fortune, is it not? Then from the Sat Guru you receive such Srimat, elevated directions, that your questions of, what should I do? How can I continue? Should I do this or not? What will happen, etc. All finish. What should I do? How can I do it? Should I do this or not? The answer to all these questions is just found in the one expression, follow the father. For your practical actions in the corporeal form, follow Father Brahma. In your incorporeal stage, in becoming bodiless, follow Father Shiva. To follow both Bap and Dada means to finish all questions and to follow Srimat. Is this difficult? Is there any need to ask anything? You just have to copy. Don't use your own head. To become equal to the Father means to follow the Father. Is this easy or difficult? It's easy, is it not? Those who have been with Baba for 30 years or more, raise your hands. Acha. Did you find it difficult in these 30 years or was it easy? Now just look, even those who have been with Baba for 30 years found it easy. Therefore, is it easy or difficult for those who have come later? Is it easy? Because the weather was very hot, Everyone was given colourful fans. It is good. The colour and splendour of the fans are very beautiful. All waved their fans. This scene is very good. There has to be some newness. So this is the newness of this group. This is also being recorded on the TV. It is good that all of you have come running and arrived here. Babdada congratulates you with love. How many blessings do limited gurus give? One to ten, no more than that. However, you receive blessings from the Sat Guru every day. Have you ever seen such a guru? You haven't, have you? Only you have seen such a guru and you have seen him cycle after cycle. So constantly keep the attainment of your fortune in front of you. Do not just keep it merged in your intellect, but let it emerge. Transform your sanskars of keeping everything merged and let this emerge. Keep the list of your attainments emerged in your intellect. When the list of attainments has emerged, no type of obstacle can attack you. All obstacles will simply become merged and your attainments will remain emerged. When Bap Dada hears that some children, for some reason or another, are labouring hard or battling, or are trying to have yoga but unable to do so, that instead of becoming soul conscious, they become body conscious, 
Bap Dada does not like it. What is the reason for this? You do not keep the attainments of your fortune emerged in your awareness. They remain merged. Then, when someone reminds you of them, you begin to think that it should be constantly like this. Therefore, the effort is very easy. Let your attainments remain emerged. Keep your fortune in your awareness from the moment you became a Brahmin. Do not fluctuate. Remain unshakable, because what is your memorial in Mount Abu? Is it a Chalga, home of stability, or Hal Chalga, home of fluctuation? What is it? It is a Chalga, is it not? Whose memorial is it? It is your memorial, is it not? When you find the path of subtle effort to be difficult, or when your intellect fluctuates a great deal, bring your memorial to your awareness. Very often, you children speak points of knowledge. I am a soul. This is the drama. This is just an obstacle. It is just a side scene. Even though you continue to speak knowledge in this way, you also fluctuate at the same time. You fluctuate and speak knowledge at the same time. When your intellect becomes such that you are unable to become unshakable, then remember a Chalga of Madhuban. That is a physical thing, it is not subtle. It is something that can be seen with your eyes. Remember, my memorial is a Chalga, not Hal Chalga. Because Bap Dada wants to celebrate this year as the year of liberation for all of you children. It should not be that when you are asked to raise your hands, some of you raise your hands and others do not. No, everyone should clap with great happiness. All began to clap. Okay, you have now clapped. And so it's okay now, but Bap Dada wants to see you clap just as loudly at the end of this year. You have clapped now, and that is fine, but also clap at that time. Look, you pleased Baba by clapping with both hands, but in the new year, on the 18th of January, will you clap then? The day when Brahma Baba became free from his body. So on the 18th January, Bap Dada will make you raise your hands again as to whether you celebrated the year of liberation or whether you just thought about it. You haven't just kept thinking that you have to celebrate it, that you have to celebrate it, have you? Have you put it into the practical form? Or, while thinking about it, will you still keep thinking about it till the end? Bap Dada wants to see this result. Will you show this result? Acha, you will remember, will you not? Keep your attainments in front of you. Together with having remembrance of the Father, also allow what the Father has given you to emerge, what he has made you and what you have received. After this year, Bap Dada will see each of you children in the stage of liberation in life. In the future, you will be liberated in life, but you have to let the sanskars of liberation in life emerge from now. 
Bring into your experience the sanskars of a constant karma yogi, a constantly easy yogi and a constantly liberated soul from now on. Why? Bapdada has already signalled that the transformation of time is waiting for you world transformer souls. The elements are invoking you souls who are masters of the elements and holding a garland of victory for you. Time is holding the bell of victory and looking at you future world sovereign souls to see when the bell should be chimed. Devotee souls are also constantly waiting for the day when their worthy of worship deity souls will become pleased with them and grant them the blessing of liberation. Unhappy souls are calling out and wondering when the souls who are the removers of their sorrow and the bestowers of happiness will be revealed. All of them are waiting for and invoking all of you. Therefore, O merciful world benefactor souls, put an end to their waiting. All of them are waiting for you. When all of you become liberated, all souls, the elements and the devotees will then become liberated. So become liberated, become master bestowers and donate liberation. Now become souls who wear the crown of responsibility for world transformation. You are responsible, are you not? You are the Father's helpers. Do you not feel mercy? Can you not feel their waves of sorrow in your hearts? O world transformer souls, now celebrate the coronation of your responsibility. Bapdada told you earlier too that even if you have to face an obstacle greater than a hundred Himalayas, you will not step away from them, you will not be defeated. You will definitely celebrate the coronation and the year of liberation. Bapdada will look at your chart daily. It should not be that as soon as you leave here, you say in the train, I don't know what happened. Or that as soon as you return home, the fighting between storks and swans begins. Do not say that this or that just happened. Baba will no longer listen to any of that. Baba will put your letters in the waste paper basket. Baba will hear none of this. Have the determined thought. It has to happen. When there is determination, it is impossible for you not to have success. So all of you have determination, do you not? Teachers, raise your hands. There are many teachers. Have all of you left your centres empty? Look, Baba would like to give you some good news. Bapdada saw and also heard just now that all the Madaban residents have kept a very good aim for their transformation. Of course, Baba will look at their qualifications too. They have also written about the transformation that has taken place in themselves. Bapdada is pleased that the transformation that has begun to take place will continue. All of them have shown very good zeal and enthusiasm in their determination. At the moment it is just on paper. However, 
at least the first step of putting it on paper has been taken. So Bapdada is pleased. Why? Because the Madaban residents are Arjunas for the whole world. Madaban residents are the instruments. The second number are the instrument teachers from this land and abroad. Then all the Brahmin souls of the entire family are totally cooperative. Bap Dada will look at the map of the Madaban residents to see whether they are totally transformed. There must be very few who have come from Madaban. Many have not even written anything. Very few of those who sit at the front have written. They have been too busy. However, when you are given a task, you also accumulate marks in actually writing that. If you do not write it, then you do not gain extra marks, and so you cause yourself a loss. Whatever directions you receive, even if the instrument souls, the daddies, give them to you, they are given directly by the father. It is very essential to give them that regard. You must not make excuses about this, nor must you be careless. Bapdada is telling you for the future that if you don't do this, you will not accumulate marks for it. Therefore, to give importance to this is to become great. Do not become loose in anything. Acha, what would you then say to this? You children are very clever. You would say, Bapdada knows everything anyway. Although he does know everything, why should he tell you to do this? Even though he does know everything, he has told you to do this, has he not? So you shouldn't free yourself from this just like that. There are many such small tasks in which you can accumulate extra marks by saying, Haji. There are such students who should be moving ahead with great zeal and enthusiasm. But because of their past sanskars, one or another very subtle golden thread or another doesn't allow them to move forward. They even understand that this subtle thread still remains in them, but one can only say, but. However, there are such effort makers who can even claim extra marks for just saying haji for small common things. It is possible to accumulate a few marks in each of these little things and thereby move forward a great deal. Bapdada has seen such examples. Therefore, the easy way to continue to accumulate marks is by saying haji for small things. Do not cut your marks, but accumulate them. Bapdada saw that the majority has shown very good zeal and enthusiasm. This is why Bapdada especially congratulates those Madaban residents who say Haji with determination. Baba also gives them love and remembrance. Baba gives them a hundred thousand times love and remembrance. Why? Madaban is a palace of mirrors that reveals Bapdada's form. So Baba is happy about one thing. Now whatever you have written down has to be put into practice. Is this okay? Acha, congratulations.
if all of you were suddenly given a direction to become bodiless right now, would you be able to become that? Or would there be some upheaval? Why? This practice of the last moment will make you pass with honours. So now Babdada is saying that you have to step away from everything in a second and become bodiless. Baba conducted drill. Acha. To the extremely fortunate souls everywhere. To the souls who have a right to godly sustenance. To those who have a right to the teachings of God. To those who have a right to blessings from God the Satguru. To those who constantly claim success by having determination. To those who are constant and unshakable yogis. To those who wear the crown of responsibility for world transformation. To those who constantly experience all attainments emerged in them. Such special souls. Bapdada's love, remembrance and namaste. Now, Madaban residents claim number one in the year of liberation. Is this okay? Is it possible or is it difficult? Haji. In that case, Babdada will give those from Madaban a golden badge. Everyone else has received a badge, but those from Madaban have to receive it yet. Madaban residents will receive a prize for the year of liberation. Acha, you will be given a badge. It is good. Acha. Blessing. May you make the one father your world in Brahmin life and become a natural and easy yogi. All of you children in Brahmin life have promised to belong to the one father and none other. When the father is your world, when there is no one else, you will then constantly have a natural and easy yogi stage. If there is anyone else, you would have to make effort. Let your intellect not wander anywhere, but let it remain here. If the one father is your everything, your intellect cannot go anywhere else. In this way, you can easily become an easy yogi and one who easily has a right to self-sovereignty, a constant and stable shine of spirituality is on your face. Slogan To become aviact and bodiless like the father is the practical proof of aviact sustenance. Om Shanti